What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to another episode of This Week in Gaming. Today I'd like to talk about new consoles. Of course they're coming out next week. And today I'd really like to discuss, are you buying one? I would love to see a lot of comments down in the comment section below letting me know if you're buying one day one, if you already have one pre-ordered, if you're going to wait till next year, if you're going to wait till after Christmas, whatever the case may be. Leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Of course, we all know the new consoles will be out next week. Uh, the Xbox will be out a few days earlier than the PS5. Of course, the Xbox is going to vary between $300 here in the U.S. to $500, depending on which one you're going to buy. And when it comes to the PS5, um, you're going to be looking at a price range of four to five hundred dollars depending on which version you buy now when it comes to pre-ordering these there's been a lot of problems with this a lot of people have not been been able to pre-order because of online pre-orders being sold out as soon as you click the button a lot of people are you know saying that people are using bots and things like that and it is pretty ridiculous i tried to pre-order one a couple times and as soon as you click to put in cart it says you know that it's sold out also a lot of stores are not taking pre-orders anymore uh, Sony did announce yesterday that there will be no uh, consoles for PS5 sold in like places like Walmart, Target, that kind of thing. Now that's not saying if you already have yours pre-ordered from those places, you can go do a curbside pickup or an in-store pickup, but you're not going to be able to go in most of these stores day one and just pick up a PS5. Uh, Microsoft kind of followed suit saying, you know, with a couple of their stores like Walmart and so on, will not be offering the uh, consoles in store as well. And of course, this is all due to the virus situation, so they're trying to watch out for everyone's health. And that is understandable, but I understand also why people are getting frustrated with this, because if you cannot go in store and purchase it, which was a lot of people's plans because they could not get one ordered online, now you're really kind of left with what are you going to do? Uh, Sony did announce that some stores like Walmart and others will have a surplus of these available day one on launch day, so you can go to Walmart and they actually have times uh, down where you can pre-order these and they will have both consoles the disc version and the discless version the same goes for the xbox series s and series x but a lot of people are still concerned that you're not going to be able to get one if you really just want one because it's going to be the same issue as before when you're trying to pre-order that it's going to get bought up as soon as you click the you know buy button it's going to be gone and it's going to say it's out of stock so i'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work for me unfortunately i'd have never got to pre-order one i've tried several times tried several different stores uh, when well, my local GameStop had them available early, which, you know, no one really knew that whole kind of issue when the PS5 was first announced, you know, it was supposed to be released the next day for pre-order. That didn't happen. People started putting them out early. My GameStop was already sold out. Uh, my Walmart uh, locally here in town did not take in-store pre-orders. They were sold out online. GameStop was sold out online. Amazon, Best Buy, wherever you went here in the U.S. was pretty much sold out uh, right from the get-go. And since they've had a few restocks here and there, the same issue has occurred. I was not able to get one. So I may not have one day one, which is kind of a disappointment. I usually always have consoles day one when they come out if I've wanted them. But at the same time, if you sit there and really think about it, um, it's not really going to be that big of a deal. Yes, would I love to have a new PS5? Would I love to have a new Xbox Series X? Would be awesome. It would be great to see the new kind of UIs, the new hardware, the new software, to see how they work with these games. But at the same time, most games that are coming out are already going to be on old gen. If you think about it, next week, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, and, of course, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War are coming out, and those are going to be the two best-selling games by far this holiday season. They could possibly become the two best-selling games of this year. Now, I'm looking forward to playing them both. I will be hopefully uh, be able to get a lot of content for you guys for both of those games and upload them here on the channel. I'm definitely looking forward to having two new games to play. So there's going to be a lot of Assassin's Creed, uh, Valhalla, a lot of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War content here on the channel. But, like I said, you can play these on old gen. Now it would be nice to be able to play these on a new generation console, a little bit higher FPS, you know, uh, a little bit higher, you know, if you want to play in 4K, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like I said, you can play these on old gen. Now they won't be the upgraded versions, you know, if you are able to get a new gen console, a lot of these games will look better and play better, I'm sure, in a lot of people's opinion on new gen consoles but like i said at the same time you're still able to play these on old gen so if you're like me you're not able to find one you know for the next couple months or if you're a person that just not does not want to buy one until next year i don't really think you're going to be missing out on a ton even though it is kind of disappointing if you really do want one uh, of course next year was going to is going to be really what we kind of when we see what these consoles really have to offer when exclusive games just for that particular platform or games are made just for next gen when games start to get being made for just next gen and you start seeing uh you know xbox series s and series x have their own exclusive titles the ps5 having their own exclusive titles 
that's when you know having a new gen console is really going to be something that everybody is going to want but like i said right now if you're like me it is disappointing that you can't find one maybe some of us will get lucky and find one around launch day or a little bit after but at the same time if you can't find one i don't think it's going to be too awful because like i said the two games that are going to probably be the biggest games this fall are going to be coming out on old generation consoles anyway of course guys leave me a comment like i said and let me know are you looking forward to getting a new gen console do you have yours pre-ordered are you planning on waiting are you planning on trying to find one within the first couple you know days or weeks that they are released and also leave me a comment and let me know what games are you playing are you looking forward to black ops cold war assassin's creed valhalla or maybe you have something else in mind like cyberpunk of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live and be sure to check out everything down in the description GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.